Welcome to Counters. If you are using QuickBooks and you want to use multiple currencies when you are sending your invoices or you want to send an invoice in a different currency, here's how you go about doing that. So this is a quick lesson on going about doing that. We're going to go to the right hand side and you can see the gear icon here. So you're going to click that one and then you're going to go to the far left here where you have settings and then you select company settings. Once you've selected company settings, you can see here you've got company notifications, sales, expenses, time, and advanced. So you go to advanced. Once you've selected advanced, you go here to where you see currency. So find currency. You've got accounting, chart of accounts, automation, projects, and currency. So you have your home currency that you usually use but then you also have multi-currency. So you can see that mine is turned on. So if yours is off, then you can just go ahead and turn it on and it will just tell you what you need to take note of that you cannot turn it off once you've turned it on. So mine is already on. So if yours is off, just go ahead and turn it on. Once you've done that, once you've turned it on, we're just going to go ahead and close this and then you can go ahead and send your invoice. So I'm going to go to sales and once you are in sales here, now, if you've just turned on your multi-currency and you've already created your client, then it won't allow you to change the currency from your home currency to multi-currency. We will have to recreate the same client again. So if you've already created your client, you might have to recreate again so that you can select the different currency. But if you have not created as yet or you have to recreate, you just go to new customer and then you type the details of the new customer. But you'll see down here where it's written payment and billing all right under payment and billing you can see here you've got terms you've got opening balance as of and then this customer pays me with all right so now you can use you can choose the currency that you want to bill the client with so you can see all these currencies here and you can only do this if you've turned on multi-currency if you haven't turned on multi-currency it won't show this and again if you had created your customer before you selected the currency that your client pays you with then you won't be able to do it so you need to recreate the customer and then you select the currency that your customer pays you with and then you save and once you've saved when you're creating the invoice it will create the invoice in that particular currency i hope it's made sense i hope you gained value from this lesson if you have consider subscribing to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help cheers